Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a quick little specs review on the iPhone 5C. As you can tell, this is the pink model with the standard front, new plastic back, which feels kind of flimsy, honestly. I don't really like it that much. It does feel cheaper, but then again, it is a cheaper model phone. Alright, this one comes in the 16 gig and 32 gig models. No 64 for this one, unfortunately, but no big deal. Along with that, the height is 4.9 inches. It is 2.33 inches wide. It's only 0.35 inches deep. And it only weighs 4.65 ounces. And that's 132 grams for anybody who really wanted to know that. And inside the phone, it comes with the A6 processor. It is available on all of the carriers, as is every phone. And it comes with the GPS, the digital compass, Wi-Fi, the cellular, of course, all that great stuff. It's got the Retina display, which is pretty much mandatory for all Apple products. The screen is 4 inches diagonally. It's got the multi-touch. It got the fingerprint resisted phone which again like all of my phone reviews I find complete bullcrap because look fingerprint 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 not fingerprint resistant more fingerprint resistant on the back even though it only says fingerprint resistant on the front but whatever let's see we have the 8 megapixel eyesight camera in the front it comes with a sapphire crystal lens cover, which is nice. It's got the LED flash, backside illumination, sensor 5 element lens. You got the IR filters autofocus, that tap to focus thing. It does the panorama, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. And you can tag it, your location. It does record in 1080p. It does 30 frames per second, which is really fun to play around with. It's got the LED light again, as you know. The, uh, flashlight which everybody loves I think that's like probably like the coolest feature that they came out with honestly and as always it has FaceTime you can do a FaceTime on any of the devices audio it plays pretty much every audio format you can a airplay if you have Apple TV but does anyone really have an Apple TV I think it's like their worst made product that they have out yet but other than that, if you ever own an iPhone 5, it's the same exact product, but with a plastic back. So, great phone. Uh, for the money, though, you might as well just spend the extra 100 bucks and go with the 5S for the extra little features it has and the processor. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.